Sean Corey Carter, born December 4, 1969, known professionally as Jay-Z, stylized as J-A-Y-Z, is an American rapper, songwriter, record executive, businessman, and record producer. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential hip-hop artists in history, and often cited as one of the greatest rappers of all time. Born and raised in New York City, Jay-Z first began his musical career after founding the record label Rockefeller Records in 1995, and subsequently released his debut studio album Reasonable Doubt in 1996. The album was released to widespread critical success, and solidified his standing in the music industry. He has gone on to release 12 additional albums, including the acclaimed albums The Blueprint, 2001, The Black Album, 2003, American Gangster, 2007, and 444, 2017. Jay-Z has also released the full-length collaborative albums Watch the Throne, 2011, with Kanye West and Everything is Love, 2018, with his wife Beyonce, respectively. Outside of his musical career, Jay-Z has also attained significant success and media attention for his career as a businessman. In 1999, he founded the clothing retailer Rockawear, and in 2003, he founded the luxury sports bar chain 4040th's Club. Both businesses have grown to become multi-million dollar corporations, and allowed Jay-Z to fund the startup for the entertainment company Rock Nation, which was founded in 2008. In 2015, he acquired the tech company Aspero and took charge of their media streaming service title. Jay-Z is one of the world's best-selling music artists, with over 50 million albums and 75 million singles sold worldwide. He has won a total of 22 Grammy Awards, the most by a rapper, and holds the record for the most number one albums by a solo artist on the Billboard 200, with 14. He has been ranked by Billboard and fellow music publication Rolling Stone as one of the 100 greatest artists of all time. In 2017, he became the first rapper to be honored into the Songwriters Hall of Fame, and in 2018, received the commemorative Salute to Industry Icons Award at the 60th Grammy Awards. In June 2019, Jay-Z officially became the first hip-hop billionaire, making him the fifth wealthiest African-American and the wealthiest American musician. In December of 2020 Jay-Z launched a line of cannabis products called Monogram. Sean Corey Carter was born in the Brooklyn borough of New York City on December 4, 1969. He was raised in Marcy Houses, a housing project in Brooklyn's Bedford, Stuyvesant neighborhood. After their father, Adnis Reeves, abandoned the family, Jay-Z, and his three siblings were raised by their mother, Gloria Carter. Reeves would later meet and reconcile with Jay-Z shortly before dying in 2003. Jay-Z claims in his lyrics that in 1982, at age 12, he shot his older brother in the shoulder for stealing his jewelry. Along with rapper AZ, he attended Eli Whitney High School in Brooklyn until it was closed. He then attended nearby George Westinghouse Career and Technical Education High School with rappers The Notorious B.I.G. and Busta Rhymes, followed by a stint at Trenton Central High School in Trenton, New Jersey, though he did not graduate according to his interviews and lyrics, he sold crack cocaine and was shot at three times during this period. According to his mother, Jay-Z used to wake up his siblings at night banging out drum patterns on the kitchen table. She bought him a boombox for his birthday, sparking his interest in music, and he began freestyling and writing lyrics. Known as Jazzy around the neighborhood, he later adopted the stage name Jay-Z in homage to his mentor Jazz O. Jay-Z can be briefly heard on several of Jazz O.S. early recordings in the late 1980s and early 1990s, including H.P. Gets Busy, The Originators and Hawaiian Sophie. Jay-Z became embroiled in several battles with rapper LL Cool J in the early 1990s. He first became known to a wide audience on the Posse Cut Show and Prove on the 1994 Big Daddy Kane album Daddy's Home. Jay-Z has been referred to as Big Daddy Kane's hype man during this period, although Kane explains that he didn't fill the traditional hype man role, and was instead basically making cameo appearances on stage. When I would leave the stage to go change outfits, I would bring out Jay-Z and Positive K and let them freestyle until I came back to the stage. The young Jay-Z appeared on a popular song by Big L, De Graveyard, and on Mike Geronimo's Time to Build, which also featured early appearances by DMX and Joe Rule in 1995. 
His first official rap single was called In My Lifetime, for which he released a music video in 1995. An unreleased music video was also produced for the B-side I Can't Get With That. On December 1, 1999, Jay-Z, who had come to believe that record executive Lance Un Rivera was behind the bootlegging of Volume 3, stabbed Rivera at the release party for Q-Tip's album Amplified at the Kit Kat Club, a now-defunct nightclub in Times Square, New York City. Jay-Z's associates at the party were accused of causing a commotion within the club, which Jay-Z allegedly used as cover while he stabbed Rivera in the stomach with a 5-inch, 127mm, blade. He surrendered to police the following evening and was placed under arrest, although he was soon released on $50,000 bail. When he was indicted in Manhattan Criminal Court in late January 2000, he pleaded not guilty, he and his lawyers contended that they had witnesses and videotapes proving he had been nowhere near Rivera during the incident. Nevertheless, he later pleaded guilty to third-degree assault and accepted a three-year probation sentence. In 2002, Jay-Z and singer Beyoncé collaborated on the song O3 Bonnie and Clyde. He also appeared on Beyoncé's hit single Crazy in Love as well as That's How You Like It from her debut album Dangerously in Love. On her second album, Birthday, he made appearances on the hits Deja View and Upgrade You. In the video for the latter song, she comically imitates his appearance. They kept a low profile while dating and were married on April 4, 2008. Their relationship became a matter of public record on April 22, 2008, but Beyoncé did not publicly debut her $5 million Lorraine Schwartz-designed wedding ring until the Fashion Rocks concert on September 5, 2008. They reside in an $88 million home in the Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles. They generally avoid discussing their relationship, and Beyoncé has stated her belief that this has helped them, while Jay-Z agreed in a People article that they do not play with their relationship. Jay-Z appeared in a 2003 Reebok collection advertising his S. Carter collection. Jay-Z has also established himself as a successful entrepreneur with a business empire spanning a variety of industries from clothing lines, beverages, real estate, sport teams, and record labels. In an interview, he stated that my brands are an extension of me. They're close to me. It's not like running GM, where there's no emotional attachment. Jay-Z and Damon Dash are the founders of the urban clothing brand Rock Aware. Rock Aware has clothing lines and accessories for men, women, and children. The line was taken over by Jay-Z in early 2006 following a falling out with Dash. In March 2007, Jay-Z sold the rights to the Rock Aware brand to Iconics Brand Group, for $204 million. He retains his stake in the company and continues to oversee the marketing, licensing and product development. He also co-owns the 4040th's Club, an upscale sports bar that started in New York City and has since expanded to Atlantic City and Chicago. In 2008, the 4040th's Club in Las Vegas was closed down and bought back by the hotel after attendance steadily declined. In 2005, Jay-Z became an investor in Carol's Daughter, a line of beauty products, including products for hair, skin, and hands. In September 2013, his stake in Barclays Center was sold for $1.5 million. Beyoncé and Jay-Z were listed as the most powerful couple for Time magazine's 100 Most Influential People of 2006. In January 2009, Forbes ranked them as Hollywood's top-earning couple, with a combined total of $162 million. They made it to the top of the list the following year, with a combined total of $122 million between June 2008 and June 2009. At the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards, Beyoncé revealed that she was pregnant with their first child. Their daughter, Blue Ivy, was born at New York's Lenox Hill Hospital on January 7, 2012. Jay-Z released Glory, a song dedicated to their child, through his website on January 9, 2012. The song detailed the couple's pregnancy struggles, including a miscarriage Beyoncé had suffered. Because Blue's cries were included at the end of the song and she was officially credited on the song as B.I.C. On June 18, 2017, Beyoncé's father Matthew Knowles confirmed that she and Jay-Z had welcomed twins, a daughter named Rumi and a son named Sir.